sound is a pressure disturbance that moves through a medium in the form of mechanical waves. And these mechanical waves transfer energy from one particle to the next. So notice here that sound needs a medium to travel through. And so that can be something like air, water, or some other matter. But either way, sound has to have a medium to travel through. And then the reason it needs to travel through something is because it's transferring energy from one particle to the next. Now another thing you need to know about sound is that sound is transferred through vibrations. Vibrations transfer energy to adjacent particles. Now this may be a little bit contrary to what you thought about sound because you may think that sound is the actual movement of particles over a great distance, but actually the particles aren't moving. Instead vibrations transfer energy from one particle to an adjacent particle and that way sound moves out through the waves into other areas, but actual matter is not moving with the sound. The sound is just moving from one particle to the next. And so sound is transferred through the movement of atomic particles. And so these can be atoms or molecules. Now, waves consist of two things. We have compressions and rarefaction. So a compression is when particles are forced together. And so the opposite of that is a rarefraction. So this is when particles move farther apart and their density decreases. So you have comp a compression with particles moving together and a rarefraction with those particles moving apart. So one compression and one rarefraction constitutes a sound wave. Now waves of sound energy move outward in all directions from the source. So you have a source right here, a source of sound, and so you have waves moving out in all directions. So actually if you were to look at what this would look like scientifically, you'd have all these waves coming off, but that takes a long time to draw. And so different sounds have different wavelengths. And then the last thing that you prob probably should know is that sound is a form of kinetic energy. Now it's, when I say it's a form of kinetic energy, that's as opposed to potential energy. Which sound isn't going to be potential energy because it's not energy stored up. Sound is energy in motion, so we call it kinetic energy energy. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.